Do you have back pain? Do you have neck pain? Do you sit like this? If you do, let's try to help you out. So my name is Eric Fontaine. I'm a physical therapist with Hands On Healing Physical Therapy. And today what I want to talk to you a little bit about is uh, posture and how it can affect how your back and your neck feel. So um, a lot of times when I'm seeing patients in my clinic, when I'm watching them in the uh, waiting room, things like that, I notice a lot of us around our phones, we're kind of doing a little hunch over like this. And in what can happen in those type of situations is it puts a lot of strain on your neck and your back. We get kind of things that people talk about like text neck, things like that. Um, and I see a lot of folks for this in my office every day. So I wanna show you guys a couple quick things that you can do to try to make uh, yourself feel a little bit better during the day and to try to take some of the tension off those muscles as you do some of your daily activities. So a great exercise for a lot of people to work on is what we would call like a scapular retraction exercise. Your scapula are these wing bones in the back and what you do for this one is you just sit up nice and tall. You kind of raise your chest up a little bit and you just bring your shoulder blades down and back almost like you're engaging these muscles right here in the middle of your of your low back. And uh, a cue that I use a lot with my patients is you're almost going to feel like these these mid back muscles are pulling your shoulder blades down towards your back pockets. You might even feel like your chest raising up your shoulder, uh, your shoulder joints coming back a little bit, just opening up your chest. And that's really nice because it kind of gives you a nice amount of extension right at the top of your spine to get those muscles working in a little bit more of an efficient position. Another exercise that works towards that is uh, what we would call like a chin retraction exercise. And again, this is a very, very gentle motion. Um, are you able to see me well, Brenda? Yeah, okay, great. So all we need to do is just sit up nice and tall again and just take your chin and, and gently pull it back just a little bit. You're not trying to like force it back or anything crazy like that. All you're really trying to do is make your neck a little bit taller, just like this. And, and what that's doing again is it's just kind of stacking your, your, your neck a region of the spine a little bit more vertically so that those muscles can work a little bit more efficiently. The further out your neck muscles get, the more gravity works on your spine and the harder those muscles have to work. So the, the more vertical you can get it and the more supported you can get it, the less those muscles uh, have to contract and the more comfortable they're gonna be. Let's do one more exercise. Come on back here, Brenda. You find a nice doorway, what you can do is you can bring your arms up a little bit below shoulder height and just kind of step into the door frame a little bit. And as you do that, just kind of lean your hips forward a little bit and you should feel a stretch coming right across your pec muscles. Oftentimes, if you do a lot of driving, you do a lot of desk work, do a lot of things out in front of you, those, your pec muscles can kind of get stiff and tight and pull everything into this hunched forward position. So by stretching them out, giving it a little bit more mobility through this area, a lot of times people feel quite a bit better. Um, and that can be a, a pretty rapid improvement as well. If you have some shoulder issues or some back issues, sometimes that exercise can be a little bit touchy with people. And, and definitely with any of these exercises, if you feel like it's uncomfortable at home, definitely just stop. Um, and you may want to try to reach out to a physical therapist um, to try to figure out if there's anything that you need to do to adjust it or do it a little bit more effectively. Um, but I think these are three great exercises for, for posture. They, they work really, really well. I use them in my clinic all the time and, and my patients have really good results with them. So definitely feel free to try them out um, and, and give them a shot. Thanks everybody.